Let's get into an updated list of team needs now that we're in this somewhat post-free agency time here. The dust has settled a little bit in free agency. So let's take a look at my list. At number five, we've got defensive back. I purposefully did not say cornerback because Richard Sherman comes to town. I like Witherspoon and K.Y. Williams there at the slot. Dante Johnson was not very good a year ago, and he's a free agent. I don't expect him to return. Watch for Mika Fitzpatrick at number nine. I know Mel Kuyper has him going to the San Francisco 49ers, so maybe there's a possibility there. But I have this here mostly because I want to see some depth after K1 Williams at the slot corner position. I'm reading, and my understanding is that Jimmy Ward is going to get some tries at the slot corner position there. We'll see if that actually works out. But it wouldn't hurt the 49ers to go ahead and look for a slot corner via the draft and see if they can kind of bolster that area of the secondary. Let's get to team need number four here, and I've got defensive tackle on my list. So after DeForest Buckner, there's really nothing there, and we'll see what DJ Jones can turn into. He played in nine games in 2017. Now, there are a couple of defensive tackles on the open market that I really like. Jonathan Hankins is somebody you guys should read up on, as well as Benny Logan. Those two are still looking for a destination. Hankins has visited a couple teams so far in free agency, so those two are certainly possibilities. They are not of the Buckner kind of build there, which I think really isn't a bad thing to have a little difference there at the, the defensive tackle position for the San Francisco 49ers. All right, so defensive tackle checks in at number four. Let's go to number three, edge rusher. So it's really Solomon Thomas and everybody else, and we're banking on Thomas here getting better at pass rushing ability. He has mentioned before that he really wants to make that part of his priority this offseason. Eric Armstead really isn't all that great, so outside of Bradley Chubb, who likely won't fall to number nine, there's no one really at edge rusher worthy of drafting at that spot. So that further bolsters the argument that the 49ers should trade back, whether it's for an inside linebacker, a defensive tackle, or perhaps an edge rusher. So there's that argument there. I think it's Quentin Nelson or you trade back. I'll keep saying that here on the 49ers report. Let's get to need number two. Speaking of inside linebacker, there you go. So Reuben Foster, the legal situation is ongoing. No charges have been pressed yet, but really a decision hasn't been made, so we'll see what happens there. And even if he is safe in terms of legality, he may not be safe in terms of the NFL and the NFL putting down a suspension. Brock Coyle coming back, that is really, really important there. Some people are saying, well, maybe Malcolm Smith there at inside linebacker. I think he's going to be more on the outside, more of a will there. So not really a lot of faith in Malcolm Smith to be kind of second in command to Reuben Foster. So look to the draft here for middle linebacker. Maybe not in the first round, maybe not in the second, but perhaps the third and so on and so forth. All right, so let's get to team need number one. This is pretty obvious. It's the guard position. So I've been saying it for many weeks now. Interior of the offensive line was a priority. Well, not anymore. You got Richburg at center, so I can't really say the interior, but the guard for sure. So Jonathan Cooper coming on over. He was just okay for the Dallas Cowboys. And then you have Tomlinson, who was just straight up bad. So, yeah, Kilgore, Fusco, they moved on. Kilgore via the trade, Fusco via free agency to the Atlanta Falcons. Kilgore there with the Miami Dolphins. Now, I think the news about James Daniels is really promising. I think he could be a really nice option there at guard. But the dream scenario is this, and I think all of you guys are probably in unison and agreeing with me, that Quentin Nelson at number nine is the perfect, perfect scenario for the San Francisco 49ers. If he is there and you plug him in, and maybe you have a competition on the other side at guard with Cooper, Garnett, etc. I like where the 49ers are at if that goes down. So we'll see what happens, but guard, certainly team need number one for me. But how about for you guys? Which position is the 49ers' biggest need out there? Hit me up in the comments section on Facebook Live as well as YouTube. Feel free to tweet out at me, at MrRogers99. I'll be sure to answer any of your questions as I see them coming at me. All right, folks, I'm Cam Rogers. Check me out on Twitter, at MrRogers99. This has been the 49ers Report. Take care.